you want to go where the wind blows, head deep into southwestern Minnesota. Yeah, that's where they have strong, steady gusts over that wide open prairie. It's the perfect spot for one man's unique collection, a spinning menagerie of towers from as far away as China and Brazil. Tonight we meet a handyman whose pride and joy are truly up in the air as we go finding Minnesota. Some men might curse the winds that pepper the fields and disrupt the stillness. Backside of those trees over there. But in Terry Rodman's world, the more the wind blows, the more he rocks. Somebody had said, well, if you want windmills, I got one. And otherwise, you want windmills, I got one, I got one. And it just blew up from there. On his 10 acres near Jasper, Minnesota, Rodman now has a towering steel garden, a creekside field in perpetual motion. And now we got 35 some up, and then about another 50 in the grass to be put up sometime. I got so many uh, windmills to put up and do that I don't figure I got time to die even. Rodman is a retired welding shop owner, now working to keep these countryside icons out of the scrap heap. Everything is wore out when you get them. These, these rods are shot up here and down here. And it's a mission that dates back to 1990. This is how it all started? Yeah, my wife uh, wanted a Dutch windmill. His wife, who's half Dutch, asked for a lawn ornament. And I said, what we really need is a Dutch windmill, thinking there would be one about that high. Three years later, he finished building one that's about three stories high. I didn't really want those little ones. I told her if we was gonna have a windmill, we're gonna have a windmill. And I just kept adding and, and got to be 43 feet tall. We see a lot of people stopping on Highway 23 and just taking it from a distance. In the years since, Rodman has collected vintage windmills from around the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and more. Brazil and China and Argentina and Australia. It keeps him busier than he ever expected. Just one of those things that my wife thinks there should be a pill for this uh, windmill disease. It does keep him occupied. It's turned out to be just the right hobby for the reality of this region. When life gave him wind gusts, Terry Rodman put up windmills. We didn't know when we started that, but it's just a fun thing to have people enjoy them like we do. Now, since we first aired that story last October, Terry Rodman says he's picked up five or six new windmills from around the U.S. He's also had some smaller Dutch windmills shipped in from the Netherlands in pieces. Now, the Rodmans say they're happy to have people pull into their driveway and take a look. For more information or to send me another Finding Minnesota idea, just go to WCCO.com links.